Okay, right. Here is the Ebony Warrior. Yes. 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 Right. Let's see if it instantly kills humans. Oh my god. It instantly kills humans. We just one hit kill. Look, we are on legendary difficulty, okay? We one hit kill the Ebony Warrior on legendary difficulty. Oh my god. What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I review Bethesda's not very good creation club mods so you don't have to. So today we have the Arcane Archer Pack and we're also going to be reviewing Ruin's Edge. We're going to do both items in the same video because they go hand in hand, they're both for archers. So how good are they? Let's start off with the Arcane Archer Pack because this cost 150 credits which is about $1.50. So it seems like quite a good price for what could potentially be very cool. Now if you did not know there is actually already a mod out there called Elemental Arrows and it lets you fire arrows that have like shock effects, paralysis effects and you can craft them using different skills. So it's already a mod that does this this mod looks a little bit more polished, a little bit more high finished. We'll obviously see that for sure when we get in game. Let's have a quick look at Ruin's Edge because we're also going to be getting that. Wield this deadly dark bow, favoured weapon of Sly, the Duchess of Dementia. Each arrow shot has a chance to cast a spell like Paralysis, Silence, Demoralize or Frenzy. Creation is obtained through a quest. Now, Ruin's Edge is, of course, from the Shivering Isles DLC, which was in Oblivion, one of my favourite DLCs ever made for any Elder Scrolls game ever. It was incredible. So, I'm actually quite excited to get this. This weapon was 450 credits, which is $4.50. So, about that anyway. So, it's quite expensive, and we will see if it's actually worth getting. Because, be honest, the Elemental Arrows actually sound... A lot cooler and more usable and they're actually a lot cheaper but okay let's actually start the game here so if we look at our quest i think first we'll go and find ruins edge apparently ruins edge is over here stony creek cave or something stony creek cave yes great let's go and fast travel over there and see what we can find now this is actually a very small cave so they clearly just put the weapon in there i don't know if there's going to be anything else attached to it, maybe a story explaining why it's here. I wonder what is inside this cave, Lydia. Let's go and explore it. Now, this character is actually an archer, if you don't know, so it's going to be good for testing out this bow. Yesterday, we actually um, we looked at the zombie mode. Oh, hello, I'm underwater here. Yesterday, we actually looked at the zombie mode for Skyrim. Um, I'm going to leave a link to my review of that down below in the description. Long story cut short, Definitely do not buy that. Never spend money on that. It looks really bad. Or it, it was really bad. So we are going to kill this bandit over here. Get wrecked. Oh, what? What? Why Skyrim? Why are you using this trickery on me? Give me a kill count for this, surely. Nope. Bandit plunderer. Get wrecked, son. Get absolutely wrecked. Should be one more. Two more guys. Maybe a bandit chief as well. Oh, literally arrow to the elbow. The latest weakness. So the bandit chief is in here. Might as well just go and kill him quickly. Because there's also a boss chest. Just to show you guys. And there's also a stone of Bezariah on the table there. Just to the right. A bandit marauder. Mercy! Oh, level 100 archery. Yes, please. So here we go, unusual gem and some fire salts if you're on survival mode, really useful. Lydia, oh my god, you literally almost killed us both. Thank god you did not step forward there. Okay, so to the right, I think at the end, we're going to find um, the what we came here for, which is this unique bow. Right at the end of this cavern. Aha, here we go. Oh, one sec. Can I talk to this lady? Oh no, this is a bandit, right? We'll see how she reacts. I think she's just a bandit. Yeah, she is. She just happens to have Ruin's Edge. Get wrecked. Bandit Chief. Hello, Bandit Chief. Oh my god, she's taking those arrows to the face. Jesus. Get wrecked, son. There we go. Ruin's Edge. Only worth 838 gold. Completed the Edge of Ruin. 
She has 10 gloss arrows and a Dwemer cog. Ah, okay. There is a backstory here, guys, because that cave actually comes from... Sorry. This cave is the exit to this massive Dwemer ruin called Kagrenzel. So I guess the unwritten backstory here is that she came through Kagrenzel. That's why she's got the Dwemer cog and maybe found it within this ruin and came out of the stony inside the stony cave just here potentially because she's got a dwemer cock so i guess that kind of gives it away in that regard but even then they don't have any books to tell us about this um this bow i'm going to use the arrow soon guys um and we'll test those out in a minute but look at how creepy this looks it's kind of like almost like a gooey sort of like glossy finish to it like, it actually looks like an animal with an eye. Look, you can see this eye, and you actually look at this eye when you fire the bow. It'd be awesome if they actually animated the eye to move. I wonder if they... <gasps> no, it just moved. What? It just... It blinked. Oh my god, it actually moves. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Randomly applies one of these effects to target. Frost, demoralize, frenzy, drain magicka, or paralyze. Now, the only one that's not going to be useful is... Drain Magicka. Everything else will either do extra damage with the Frost, Demoralize will make them run away from you so you can just pelt them with more arrows, Frenzy will make them attack other people nearby you, which is kind of the same as long as they're not the only enemy, they'll actually help you out and attack other people, and then Paralyze, which is like the best effect ever. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that eye. Oh, it does move! Okay, I'm thankful that it moves. That makes it a bit better, you know, because like, if it didn't move at all, that would have pissed me off. Okay, let's just normally attack, and then maybe they won't instantly die. So that was the frost effect. That was the frenzy effect. Okay, so now he's going to run off and attack random people. Unless Lydia distracts him. He is actually running away. Let's use it on this guard. Frost effect. Paralysis effect. Look how powerful that is, man. It makes them break dance. Right, just for the sake of everyone's happiness, I feel like this needs to happen. Get wrecked. So he is frenzied right now. He's angry at the world. Oh, there we go. The white run guard got wrecked by the other one. He's running away. Pelting him with arrows. The frost effect seems to be the most common, but it is actually meant to be random, so... It's interesting. I mean, you know, these effects already exist in the game. It's just a fun bow with different effects. I wouldn't say it gave you a massive advantage. The enchantment does seem to be lasting a reasonable amount of time, though. But um, I haven't been using the bow for that long. It's already lost about a quarter of its charge. So, I mean... And this is a cool view, anyway. Like, this is quite cool. So, I think, like, in terms of if you'd actually buy this yourself... I mean, it costs money to buy. I don't think it's really that worth it. It is a new texture. I mean, we can enchant our weapon with two effects anyway... And we can make them hit reliably. So having a bow that does two effects randomly isn't really that helpful unless you just want it for fun, of course. In which case, it was one of my favourite weapons from Oblivion. So, you know, it's quite cool that you can have it in the game. But I think now we've reviewed this one, we should move on to our elemental arrows. Because that's what I'm actually really, really excited about. Obviously, you could combine the elemental arrows with this bow. Because the interesting thing about elemental arrows is is that they do damage on hit, and they also apply your weapon's enchantment as well, so they can be extremely powerful. They actually already have elemental crossbow bolts in the game, and you can get those for free. So if you want to get those, I'll leave a link in the description below on how to get them exactly. Very easy to get. So we actually have two letters here, guys. One says, find the telekinesis arrow tome. The other one says, read the letter from Caselmo. So clearly, these Elemental arrows have two quests, which is interesting because it's only $1.50. So let's figure out what this telekinesis arrow is first. I've been told a lost spell tome has been found, which allows one to craft a special arrow that can be controlled with a lesser telekinesis power. So you can control your arrow? What? I should head to the College of Winterhold to learn more. So let's fast travel to the College of Winterhold and learn more about what this actually is. So I just have to quick look before we do go in. This is the electric arrows, which we can't craft ourselves yet, but the game adds it into our inventory. It's got a pretty cool leather satchel that some 
how sort of reminds me of it's very Zelda <laughs> quite fantasy I guess the electric effect itself though looks really cool I I'm a big fan of that I'm actually going to try and use these in a second but let's just have a look at each individual one so these are the fire arrows I love the fade out on those arrows and again you've got like a little fire emblem and literally my arrows are on fire they've made they're made out of wood so uh going down pretty well with me though as long as it doesn't set fire to my fur i think i'm fine here the ice arrows and they've got a lot more a bit more of like a blizzard effect around each arrow by the looks of it they do look quite cool especially with this armor tbh okay so let's get our weapon out and actually test it out oh that is nice so it's actually got a animated effect over the arrow that does look really cool to be fair Let's shoot at this guy. Oh, okay. And it's got an area of effects, which doesn't actually affect them unless you hit them directly. And then it does a lot of damage. So these ice arrows do eight damage. So they're effectively iron arrows in, in the terms of like how much damage they do. But they also have the unique ice damage effect, which does some extra damage. Let's fire it at her. And as you can see, it does a reasonable amount of damage. Let's compare this to a iron arrow though so we know how much frost damage that did oh okay it does a lot of frost damage look at how little damage the normal iron arrow does compared to the ice arrow so the elemental damage you're getting here must be quite significant i don't actually i've only just got 40 bounty really i've been shooting arrows at that lady for day come at me fire arrow to the face oh my god she's summoned the fire atronach I am a wizard. Ha ha ha. Get wrecked. Now Lydia is actually taking damage because these arrows release all their fire in a sort of area of effect. So if I shoot out a bunch of enemies, it will obviously hit everyone around them. Another thing I want to test out is obviously the, the lightning arrows. And once again, guys, these are also pretty cool. I love that you can see the shot coming out of the arrow before you fire it. Let's fire it at her again. Oh, that was cool. That did look cool. I like, oh my god, she's a unicorn. Look at this. What a legend. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, you've been suspended from the college. <laughs> okay, we're not talking. It's like, you just shot an arrow at my face. Oh. I'm not talking to you. We're no longer friends. Here we go. Boom. And look, it did quite a bit of damage to the surrounding people. You have to stand reasonably close. Pretty much taken over the whole college at this point. Oh, okay. We've got bone arrows as well. I forgot to do this one. So bone arrows just do flat physical damage. 26 damage to be exact. That's quite a lot of damage. So just to quickly show you guys, this looks pretty epic in terms of a quiver. This is how I imagine Dragonbone arrows should have looked when you first got them in the game. But obviously they added them in the Dawnguard DLC, so they never had this kind of polish to them. And now they're just called Bone Arrows, and that kind of annoys me. Because <laughs> these are clearly Dragonbone Arrows, and they do more damage than Dragonbone Arrows. So, pretty awesome, man. I like that a lot. So, we're back at the College of Winterhold, and I'm assuming the telekinesis tome is going to be somewhere in the library, because that's where you find the books. The local Nords may not Get out of my way, Lydia. But they don't seem so, I... Okay, yep, we've got to go and speak to... Oh, no, no, it's just on the table here. Right. Okay, and there's a letter next to it. Telekinesis Arrow Research Notes. This should be interesting. This spell tome will teach its reader the unique art of the telekinesis arrow, giving both a lesser power and the knowledge to craft these special arrows. Upon firing the arrow, one will find it to be suspended, frozen in air until the telekinesis arrow power is cast, upon which the volley will be released. Let's um, learn this spell. Oh, I'm excited now, I'm excited. Telekinesis arrows. This could be good, this could be good. So powers, okay, so if I activate this, Releases suspended telekinesis arrow. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go into the barracks because there's usually some guards standing still here. And basically, we're going to stack some sneak attacks. And this is pretty cool. Basically, I've actually already kind of done this with my slow time shout build. 
um, you can already sort of do this with your character. And it's actually a lot more effective to do it my way. But hey, let's have a go. As long as I'm in sneak mode and can't be seen, apart from Lydia can see me, obviously, this should work out pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and stack some arrows. This guy is going to get three sneak attacks in a row right now. This guy is going to get another two. This is going to be hilarious, guys. I wonder if I can leave these here, then walk around the corner in sneak mode. This guy's going to get four because I feel like being a dick. Look at that. And then if I go around here where no one can see me and I activate it, then it should give me a sneak attack because they can't see me right now. This is actually cool. This is the $1.50 thing. And like, it's quite creative. It's quite cool. I've not seen this before. Oh my god. Look at all that da- One sec. Did they even get hurt? I don't even know how hurt they are right now. Okay, let me- Let me get an iron arrow out and just sort of test this because- I feel like they should be dead. I like triple sneak attack them. They should be like far dead right now. Okay, I can't actually hit them. What? They did like no- Does it not work on sneak attack damage? That must be bugged, right? Because that is definitely bugged. That guy got wrecked. And he that said sneak attack damage. Oh my god, Lydia. I think they found us. Okay, let's try it on this guard. I'm in sneak mode. I'm just going to like stack loads of arrows here. There's three arrows going right into him, okay? Four arrows. I'm in sneak mode. Let's see if it counts as a sneak attack. It doesn't. Look how little damage that does. Why does it not work? These do 10 damage each, okay? And they have the potential to be really cool, but there's a bug where it doesn't work as a sneak attack. I mean, if it did, you could literally line up all your enemies, just all the enemies in the room, and then just instantly kill them all in a press of a button. And that idea is really, really cool, but it doesn't work that way. I will add a note to the description if they ever fix this. Because I really want them to. But that that's a bug, right? It should, like, it should work as I think it's intended. But that's not the case. It doesn't work like that. I just love the idea of like stacking arrows. Like walking around the corner. Like hiding in another room. And then just pressing the power. Walking in and suddenly everyone's just dead. I mean that just, that strikes me as like a really cool idea. But uh, there is some, there is going to be some funny trick shot stuff we can do with this. Just not on harder difficulties. Which is annoying. Hopefully they fix that. Um, either way, let's go on to the next quest. So the last quest to do with these arrows is called Stealer of Souls. Now I guess this is going to be a soul trap arrow, okay? Which is interesting because you can already get a bow with a, a soul trap enchantment. So let's go ahead and read this letter that Caselmo apparently sent me. Interesting, we've also got the Dwemer arrow diagram. Which shows us, this must be the soul trap arrow, because obviously it's got the soul gem and the soul gem arrowhead. That looks pretty sick, doesn't it? I like that a lot. I like the little diagrams of, like, what it's going to look like. Okay, so letter from Caselmo. This might explain it. During my studies, I found a diagram that I believe could be quite useful to you. It's an ancient Dwemer artifact, a special arrow crafted from a soul gem. I've attached this diagram and a map of where they were last found. Obtain them to understand how they were made and craft them for yourself. And this is actually a very interesting dungeon anyway, where you can get a few unique followers, which are Dwemer. And you can also get a unique bow called the Black Bow of Fate. Now, on the way over here, I actually thought maybe it would be a fun idea to use Ruin's Edge Bow, which already has an enchantment, and the Telekinesis Arrows, because then I can apply three random enchantments from the bow to someone at once, just in one go. So I'm going to try that out, because there are actually some bandits in this location once you go downstairs, and we're going to kill them right now. Okay, here we go, here they are. So I'm going to go for the sneak attacks here, and we'll see how much damage we can do when we use an enchanted weapon. Might as well stack a few shots up. Hopefully this will kill them, or at least maybe paralyze, fear, and frenzy them all at once or something. Just move slightly across here so it looks awesome when I fire these arrows. 
Oh my god, what? What the hell just happened? That was really weird. That was definitely a bug, right? Telekinesis arrows. You ready, guys? Bombs away! Oh, I love watching that effect. Oh my god, so it doesn't apply the weapon's enchantment either. That's really weird. At least maybe if I use the lightning arrows, they should apply it. So they've healed themselves up now. Get wrecked. So they, they also apply the weapon enchantment and the electrical effects, as you guys saw. Because he's frenzied right now, and he's going to attack his follower. Then I can shoot this in the back of him, and they'll both just be getting wrecked. Get wrecked! There we go. So, the telekinesis arrows are just bugged, and they don't work, and you have to pay for them. So they should work, right? They shouldn't be bugged. Now, to actually use this, you need to finish a puzzle. Now, in order to actually get the soul stealer arrows, guys, you're going to have to do a hard quest, because this room is actually a giant puzzle, and you've got to go and collect some keys to activate the puzzle. I've actually got a guide on exactly how to do that down below in the description. But once you have done it, you'll eventually get to this treasure room, where you'll find the unique Black Bow of Fate, which is an extremely awesome bow, by the way, and that's in the original game anyway. But they've also put the Soul Stealer arrows here, and now we've got them, I assume we'll be able to craft them as well. But let's have a quick look at what these arrows do. I assume I'm correct in thinking... Okay, so soul still arrows. On a lethal blow, manifests itself into a soul gem filled with the soul's target. Wow, that's really good. Oh my god, that's really, really good. What? That's, that's so good for a mage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it instantly kills them. That didn't do enough damage to actually kill him, did it? And he's got a black soul gem because he's human. It, this arrow instantly kills stuff. And we can pick up the arrow again. It says one on a lethal blow. This is... No, surely it shouldn't instantly kill them. That's stupid. Oh god, I actually missed. I don't want to miss. It instantly kills them. Is this a bug? And he's got a black soul gem. This is like the best way to get soul gems ever. This is ridiculous. There's still an enemy over there. Let's go and kill him with it. And uh, let's try it on the hawker. Get wrecked. And he's got a lesser soul gem, obviously, because he's just a hawker. And we can take the arrow back as well. He doesn't even consume the arrow like it says it does. That's just hilarious. We're just getting, like, free soul gems here. Get wrecked. Fill a soul gem. Oh my god, it instantly kills them. Look, even if this guy can see me, we're right now... We're on expert difficulty. Let's put it on legendary, okay? He should not instantly die. There's no way he should... In oh my god, bloody hell, that fucking hurt. He instantly gets killed. These arrows insta-kill people. What? And he's got the black soul gem. Like, seriously? Guys, I know what you're all thinking, and I am going to do it before the end of this video, okay? Don't worry. Okay, right. So it's just humans that it seems to instantly kill. Let's try it on the mammoth. Nope, that doesn't instantly kill it either. I wonder why then we could instantly kill other humans. Okay, guys, here's a dragon. Let's try it on the dragon, see if it works on him. I assume it won't, but we'll try it. Oh, I actually missed. Did I just miss that? Whoa, okay, that was weird. Nope, that is... I am a dead Khajiit right now. Oh my god, he, he's actually eaten me. Jesus, he's thrown me off the mountain. Oh my goodness me. I'm, I'm actually flying. I don't even know where I went. I think I entered the void. Okay, right, here is the ebony warrior. Yes? 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 Right, let's see if it instantly kills humans. Oh my god. It instantly kills humans. We just one hit kill. Look, we are on legendary difficulty, okay? We one hit kill the ebony warrior on legendary difficulty. Oh my god. I spent so long making a video about this ages ago. Actually, I've made two videos on how to do this. And the new way is to do it with a broken bugged arrow that insta-kills any human in the game and traps its soul. In fact, we've got the ebony warrior's soul. Oh, he has two souls? What? 
Is there some kind of secret law thing going on here? Right guys, so I'm here in solitude now and I want to have a look at how we can craft. Okay, miscellaneous, these arrows. So here we've got fire arrows. We need four, okay, so we need four fire salts. That's quite a lot to craft 10 fire arrows, but they are extremely powerful and obviously we can use them against certain enemies with weakness to fire to do extra damage. I can also craft ice arrows. Four frost salts and firewood. Okay, right. Still, once again, we need a lot of frost salts there. Let's go ahead and craft some of them. And lightning arrows require void salt. I kind of like that they included firewood because it actually encourages you to go and chop some wood at the various mills around Skyrim, which is a feature no one ever actually usually needs to use. But I do feel like it's going to be hard to get all those vo void salts, fire salts, and frost salts. So we're going to make some of these. Then we have the telekinesis arrow. Okay, we only need firewood and two void salts for this, so it's actually the easiest one to make. So finally, soul gem fragments are actually useful. You get them all over necromancer layers. I can um, link a few different locations. You can find them in the description below if you guys want to get some quickly. But wow, that looks beautiful. I love, I could look at that all day. And then to make the actual arrows, we need 10 soul gem arrowheads and firewood. That's really easy to make actually because of like soul gem fragments are very easy to come by in necromancer layers. You could easily make yourself another 10 arrows. You can pick them off the corpses of your enemies once you've killed them. This is just like a ridiculous easy supply of soul gems. It's going to be such a useful thing for leveling enchanting. That's the one I think is actually kind of worth it is the one which is about $1.50 for those elemental arrows. Because that adds quite a bit of fun into the game. And you know, they're actually quite cool. And they, they're well made. I would pay for it, but the only thing I really don't like is the fact that two of the arrows are bugged. The soul arrow instantly killing stuff, which I guess is a useful bug against humans. And then we have the and then we have the telekinesis arrow, which just doesn't work at all. It doesn't do the intended amount of damage it should be doing. And there are so many cool things you could be doing with it, but don't work because it's bugged. And Bethesda were meant to be releasing polished high quality content that was bug free okay that isn't bug free at all the survival mode there are bugs in it but that's kind of a bit more understandable because it's, it's still in beta it's not officially released you don't have to pay for it yet it's free for a few days if you're on xbox one and ps4 it's just come out by the way guys so make sure you download it for free now so you don't have to pay but how can you make people pay for stuff that has bugs in if you if you even use the telekinesis arrows then you would know that they're bugged. I mean, I spent like, what, 10 seconds thinking, this is how they should work. They don't work this way. I mean, they should work that way, right? You're paying for it, okay? Is, is my expectation too high? Let me know in the comments. But either way, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you so much for all the support recently. And please go ahead, subscribe if you haven't already, and press the little bell icon next to the subscription button, and then YouTube actually notifies you when I upload a new video. So it's a pretty good way of staying in touch with my content. But thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next one.